This video presentation is about the device submission D351 for YTL's My Price competition. We are presenting a fire scene command system, or FCS in short, which makes use of the two most prominent features of a 4G network, namely the broadband and the mobility. This presentation is brought to you by the Information and Communications Research Laboratories in the Industrial Technology Research Institute. We all know that firefighting is a very dangerous task. The mission not only is to control fire and rescue people, but also to protect the firefighters. The command center needs to have an overall picture as well as the details of the on-site situation. The fact is that only the firefighters can see the details into the fire scene. On the other hand, because they are so focused, they can only see what is happening in front and may not be aware of other dangers, such as building collapsing or fire bursting. Collaboration between the firefighters and the command center is important. That is the motivation that we develop the fire scene command system. Fire Scene Command System is a remote command and monitoring system which takes the advantage of the mobility and the broadband capabilities of a 4G network. It provides two-way communications between the firefighters and the far-away command center via real-time multimedia information exchange. More specifically, it allows the firefighters send real-time on-site video and other information to the command center in such a way that the command center can gather as much information to form an overview of the fire scene. With the on-site information, the command center can make better decisions and give commands to the firefighters to control the situation. The fire scene command system consists of three elements, a portable 4G device for the firefighters, a remote command system for the command center, and a 4G network, which makes the link between the portable device and the command system. We choose WiMAX as the 4G network, since it is the currently available network. We will show each element in details in the following slides. A portable WiMAX enabled device, which can be placed in the back pocket of the fire suit, is designed to work with a few other little devices. On the helmet, there is a camera and a microphone speaker pair. A push to talk button is placed on the fire suit. A temperature sensor and a CO2 sensor can also be attached. These little devices are all connected to the WiMAX enabled device. The main board of the WiMAX enabled device is equipped with several processing modules, including WiMAX video coding, VOIP, and sensors. All the information is exchanged with a far side command center via the WiMAX module and a WiMAX dongle. The job of the WiMAX enabled device is to process these signals and have them transmitted to the WiMAX network. The WiMAX enabled device also receives signal from the WiMAX network and bring them to the attention of the firefighter. The picture of the WiMAX enabled device shown in this slide is the first generation, which is 5 cm by 18 cm by 25 cm. The device has been modified into a smaller size, which we will talk about later in this presentation. At the command center, there is a screen displaying all the real-time video and sensors information sent back by the firefighters. With this information, the commander, although far away, will be able to have an overview of the whole system and send commands to each individual firefighter for actions, whether it is to go to somebody's rescue or to avoid dangerous area. We do need a 4G network for the system because of the demand of wireless mobility and broadband transmission. 
The system, while in operation, streams heavy upload and download real-time data with firefighters moving around. The bandwidth needed mainly depends on the bit rates and the number of the videos. In a situation of four videos, each with 256 kilobits per second, one would need mega levels of loading and downloading speed, which the current 3G system is not able to support. The currently available commercial network is WiMAX, which is why our development focuses around this technology. A real WiMAX network is used during the development and testing of the system. It is MT1 WiMAX Applications Lab, or MT Wall in short. This is a real WiMAX network built on Itri's campus for applications tests. Although it is a lab, it contains almost all of the components that a commercial network needs. Fire Scene Command System was demonstrated on October 27, 2009 in Empty Wall Open House event. It was a live demonstration which was highly acclaimed by a group of international visitors, mostly from WiMAX Forum, including Forum's board members and working group leaders. Ever since our submission to EM Prize competition in early 2010, the Fire Scene Command System has gone through two phases of evolution. In Phase 1, we modified the command system so that in addition to Fire Scene Control, it can be used for mobile police patrolling and command system. Fire Scene Command System, used as a mobile police patrolling system, was operated by Taiwan's Taichung City Government in the Toronto Opera event, which took place in the Intercontinental Baseball Stadium on March 27th and 28th in 2010. The WiMAX network provider is VTime, a commercial WiMAX operator in Taiwan. Nine police officers were dispatched to the audience seat area to guard the safety of the event. It was a real and successful operation, and our system works perfectly well with the commercial WiMAX network. In the second phase of evolution, there are several major modifications and additions to the whole system. The WiMAX enabled device is now about 50% more compact in size with a GPS module added to it. The command system is able to track the location of each WiMAX enabled device, be it representing a firefighter or a police officer. On the other hand, with some adjustment, we have successfully turned the WiMAX enabled device into a WiMAX enabled IP camera, which can capture and send good quality video to the command center. Finally, on the network side, in addition to relying on fixed existing network, we have used a PICO station and related equipment to assemble a nomadic system which could be carried in a vehicle and moved to the disastrous truck area to build up an immediate and temporal communication network. The current system is now a multifunction WiMAX disaster recovery command system, capable of handling most of the communication jobs required in the situation of disaster management. The new system was demonstrated in Computex Taipei 2011 from May 31st to June 4th. We move our nomadic equipment to build a temporal network in the venue for demonstration. In summary, we'd like to highlight a few points to your attention. Firstly, 
Fire Scene Command System is a working system fully utilizing 4G's features, the broadband and the mobility. Secondly, Fire Scene Command System has gone through two phases of evolution and has evolved into a multi-purpose system, the WiMAX Disaster Recovery Command System. Thirdly, the system was successfully operated and demonstrated in several events. Finally, the system is endorsed by the Taiwan's government. By no means could ETRI by itself carry out such a project and all the demonstrations. We'd like to thank these parties for their partnership, whether it is financial sponsorship, operation support, or the recognition and the endorsement of the project. And that concludes this presentation. Thank you for your attention.